Dear child of God, God has spoken, and what He has revealed is far beyond human comprehension. No one is truly prepared for what is coming, for it has been meticulously planned from the highest realms of heaven. A grave and serious period is about to dawn, one that will impact America in ways few can anticipate. Whether you live in the United States or abroad, this is a time for all believers to remain vigilant and spiritually attuned for the next 40 days leading up to the presidential elections of the United States. These 40 days are not merely a political countdown, but a period of immense spiritual significance. Many are already filled with anxiety, speculating and gossiping about the possible outcome of the election, wondering who will win, Kamala Harris or Donald Trump. But let me tell you, something far more profound and alarming is transpiring behind the scenes. It is not what the eyes can see or the ears can hear that matters. For the fate of both candidates has already been sealed in the spiritual realm. Before we go further, please like the video and share it with as many people as possible so they can also understand God's purpose and plan for the USA. The Holy Spirit has revealed that this election is not in the hands of the people. It has already been decided by God Himself. Every move, every debate, every scandal, and every headline is part of a greater design that extends beyond human understanding. The result of this election has already been decreed and it will play out according to God's sovereign plan. So, I implore you to listen closely, to open your spiritual eyes, and to stay with me until the very end of this message. What I am about to share is not for the faint-hearted, but for those who seek the truth in these troubling times. For the next 40 days, God's people must remain on high alert. 40 days is not an arbitrary number. It carries profound meaning in Scripture. Think of Noah, who witnessed 40 days and 40 nights of rain as the floodwaters engulfed the earth, symbolizing judgment and renewal. Remember Moses, who fasted for 40 days on Mount Sinai while receiving the law of God. And let us not forget Jesus, who spent 40 days in the wilderness, enduring temptations from Satan before beginning his divine mission. In the same way, the next 40 days will be a period of testing and trial for America and for the world. It will be a time of spiritual shaking, and only those who are firmly rooted in prayer and the Word of God will be able to withstand the storm. This is a critical moment, a divine window of opportunity that God is giving us to prepare, both spiritually and physically. The spiritual battle that has been raging for years is about to reach its peak and America stands at the very center of this unfolding war. What happens here will ripple out across the globe, affecting nations far and wide. While the world is distracted by political campaigns, debates, and scandals, there is a far greater battle taking place in the spiritual realm. Powers and principalities are at work, maneuvering behind the scenes, and they have already determined the fate of both Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. God has revealed that these two political figures, though seemingly opposed, are mere pawns in a much larger cosmic game, a game being orchestrated by the rulers of darkness. While some see Donald Trump as a beacon of hope and Kamala Harris as a symbol of opposition, the Lord is showing us that neither is the ultimate answer. Both are being manipulated by forces far beyond their understanding. The real enemy, Satan, has been working tirelessly to sow division, fear, and chaos within America. A house divided cannot stand, and the enemy knows this well. But the battle is not simply about political power. It is a spiritual war for the souls of nations. The enemy seeks to distract believers with the temporary issues of politics. So they miss the larger deception that is unfolding right in front of them. Too many believers have become obsessed with the election and the future of their nation, neglecting their own spiritual health in the process. But God is calling His people to rise above the noise, to wake up, and to see beyond the physical realm. There is a false peace that will settle across the land in the coming days. But do not be deceived. This calm is nothing more than the prelude to a greater storm. The Lord is warning His people not to place their trust in men, 
in political leaders or in earthly systems, those who do so will be bitterly disappointed. A shaking is coming, one that will expose the weak foundations upon which many have built their lives. Civil unrest and chaos will soon sweep through major cities as the enemy continues to sow seeds of division, but God is calling his people to stand firm in the face of it all. Now is not the time to panic. Now is the time to strengthen your faith, to be rooted in the promises of God, and to stand tall in the midst of the turmoil. The church must rise as a beacon of hope and light. Believers who are attuned to the Holy Spirit must take their positions as intercessors and watchmen on the walls. We cannot afford to be distracted by the world's narrative. God is raising up a remnant, a group of believers who will stand boldly in their faith, who will declare the truth even when it is unpopular, and who will intercede on behalf of their nation. For those who have ears to hear, the Spirit is saying, Do not fear, for I am with you. I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall harm you. But you must remain alert and sober-minded. For your adversary, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. In the next forty days, the true nature of many will be revealed. Some will fall into fear and deception, while others will press deeper into the presence of God. Those who remain steadfast in prayer, those who dwell in the secret place of the Most High, will receive divine strategies from heaven. God will guide them in what to pray, what to say, and where to move. Remember, the outcome of this election is not in the hands of people or governments. It is sealed in the courts of heaven. God, in His infinite wisdom, has already determined the result, and no matter what happens in the days to come, His sovereign will shall prevail. If you affirm this to be true, please share it with up to five people on your social media accounts. Understand this. The leaders who rise and fall on the world stage are not there by accident. God raises up kings and brings them down according to His divine purposes. Even if the outcome is not what the world expects or desires, rest assured that God's plan is unfolding exactly as it should. His ways are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Just as the prophets of old declared, God's prophecies will come to pass. Events that were spoken into existence long ago are now unfolding before our very eyes. Even if we cannot yet see the full picture, let us never forget the profound lessons from the past, as God has given us these stories not merely as historical accounts, but as a reflection of His unwavering and eternal nature. The One such powerful narrative is the story of the Tower of Babel, a timeless reminder of what happens when humanity strives to elevate itself above God's sovereign will. The people of Babel united, driven by pride and ambition, seeking to build a tower that reached the heavens in an attempt to make a name for themselves, placing their own desires above obedience to the Creator. But the Lord, in His wisdom, intervened, descending to confuse their language and scatter them across the earth. Why did He do this? Because no human scheme that seeks to establish itself apart from God can ever endure. It was true then, and it remains true now. The invisible forces working to drive humanity toward a centralized, godless authority persist, but they will forever be overruled by the hand of God. Today we see similar attempts unfolding before our eyes. The push for global unity, promising peace and security, is often a facade masking a deeper and more dangerous agenda. From the emergence of powerful international organizations to the increasing shift toward digital currencies and cashless economies, the framework for a global control system is being constructed in real time. But we must be vigilant and discerning. The enemy is using these systems to prepare for the ultimate deception. Revelation chapter 13 warns us of a future when no one will be able to buy or sell without the mark of the beast. This is not a distant event from some far-off age. The groundwork is already being laid today, and we must be spiritually prepared. As the upcoming election approaches, I urge you to pray with intentionality. 
not just for the candidate you favor, but for God's sovereign will to be done in our nation and across the world. Pray for the hearts of people to be open to the movement of His Spirit, that the veil of deception will be lifted, and that many will come to know the saving grace of Jesus Christ in these tumultuous times. Above all, stand firm in your faith. The outcome has already been decided in the heavenly realm. What we witness in the physical world is merely the unfolding of God's perfect plan. So if you believe in the divine orchestration of events, including these elections and trust in His plan, type yes as an affirmation of your faith and conviction. Join me in this heartfelt prayer. Gracious and almighty Father, we bow before you with reverence, our hearts humbled and our spirits open, fully acknowledging your supreme authority over all creation. You are the Eternal One, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the One who sees all things, from the past to the future. Lord, You have given us glimpses of what is to come, and we receive Your Word with a deep sense of awe and respect. In these turbulent times, we place our trust in Your perfect plans, knowing that though darkness may surround us, You work all things for good, holding the future firmly within Your grasp. Father, we lift up America and the nations of the world before you, recognizing the turmoil, the division, and the hidden schemes of the enemy that are at play. Yet we stand together in faith, united in prayer, asking you to thwart every plot of darkness that seeks to sow confusion, fear, and chaos among your people. In the powerful name of Jesus, we declare that no weapon formed against your church shall prevail. Expose the hidden works of evil, and let them crumble to nothing under the light of your truth and justice. Lord, as forty days will be a period of testing, trial, and punishment, refining and spiritual sifting, we pray for discernment and vigilance for every believer that our eyes may be opened, our ears attuned to your voice, and our hearts receptive to the leading of your Holy Spirit. Strengthen us in these times, Lord, that we may stand unwavering in faith, grounded in your word and constantly in prayer. When the enemy rises like a flood, let us find our refuge in you, remembering always that you are our banner, our protector, and our deliverer. We also lift up our brothers and sisters who may be gripped by fear or anxiety in these uncertain days. Father, we declare your peace over their minds and hearts, for your word reminds us that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound judgment. Let your perfect love cast out all fear and worry. Lord, remind us that you are our strong tower and that the righteous find safety and refuge in you. As we prepare for the spiritual shaking to come, we ask that you purify us, refining our hearts as gold in the fire, removing all that hinders our relationship with you. Clear away the distractions and worldly desires that pull us away from your presence. Equip us to be bold, courageous witnesses of your truth shining as lights in a world that grows ever darker. Use us. As instruments of your glory and messengers of your love, we declare today that we are covered by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. No power of darkness can touch us, for we are hidden and protected in him. Strengthen us for the days ahead, reminding us daily that our victory has already been secured through Christ. Thank you, Father, for your steadfast faithfulness, your unfailing protection, and your abundant provision. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. If you believe that God will do good for America and the entire world, I encourage you to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Together we can spread this message of hope and inspire others to join us on this journey. Amen.